So I, I cut the edge, rolled it over, or turn it upside down, and I cut, if you remember, this, this piece was sticking out about this far all the way down through here. And I did that so I could tack this piece on top and it would stay straight. And so I flipped it over and I cut that edge. And then I took a, a sander and sanded it. So it's, you can see it's just right at the edge of these two pieces. So got a nice tight finish there all the way through. And what I'll do is I'll weld this seam all the way down through here. I'll do it with the with my MIG welder because to me it's quicker. Just tack all the way down through there, weld that. And then when I flip it over, it should look really good. Okay, this looks like right now. So you can see I still have my little tacks. Once I get done welding, I'll clean those up. So I'll start welding and show you what it looks like in a little bit. Okay, so I took, took it off the car, took the other piece off, make it easier to weld. So I'll show you uh, the process that I do it in. And I tacked everything around the perimeter. Um, obviously I tacked those earlier. And then I start doing short welds about an inch. You don't have to wire a brush, but I always like to. Um, I just like to keep things clean. Cool it off, blow the dust away. Get a couple more in here. So I just try to cool the whole panel, just blow compressed air on it in the, in the general area. Um, and the wire brush gives me something to do while it's cooling. So again, you wouldn't have to do that. I just like to do it myself. So probably used to doing that on the arc welder, just never got out of that cabin. spots that I've weld. I got good, good penetration. Um, there's some areas that are just just bubbled up a little bit. I'll take the cutoff tool, 
run that right down in that crease. Clean those areas up. That'll that'll finish off really nice. But you can see the areas that I've welded just in this last couple minutes. You start to pull a spot out, like right here. See, it's it's pulling away there. I'll clamp that in and get it get it fastened back tight. Hammer and dolly it a little bit. But what I try to do is I do series, you know, about this long, all the way around, and then I start connecting them. Eventually, it'll be a continuous. Like there was one, there was one, and there was one. So just continue to do that. I'm gonna continue to weld and show you some more later. Okay, that took me 20 minutes. <clears throat> 20 minutes to weld that whole panel there. I say that because there's a lot of guys that will ask me or say, you must have a ton of time in that, each piece. Well, overall, yeah, I've got a lot of time in the car, but, you know, 20 minutes to do a weld like that is not that much. You can do quite a bit in a day. And if you've got a project that you want to build, you know, and you're doing it as a hobby like I like I am, then you know, what's the hurry? <laughs> try to try to get it done, but enjoy it. So you can see the top where I've got it all welded now. My next step is to take that uh, grinder and grind that edge down. I'll do that a little bit here and show you how I do it. When, when grinding a lot of uh, metal, I always try to put a, a dust mask on and obviously safety glasses and ear protection. So I highly recommend that if you're doing it. You know. A little bit at a time is not a big deal, but if you're going to do quite a bit, you might as well try to be safe. But you want to, just like welding, you don't want to heat the panel up. So you, you may have noticed I started at this end and, and just kind of skimmed it off on top and moved my way down to this end. Then I went back and started again. I'll make another pass. I do that about three or four times until I'm down to where I want to be. And I'll finish it with a so again, try to keep your heat down in the panel. I'm going to go change this blade out.
So I'm really close to being finished with it. Still got to sand a little bit more. I need a different pad in there. Um, if you look close, there's a couple little pits that I could touch up with the, the welder. Um, so I'll, I'll touch those up and finish sanding this and then show you what it looks like. So I, Put it up to the light like this, and then I look at my welds to see if I can see any light at all. I had one little spot right here where I had a couple pinholes, so I just welded the back side and and uh, clip, uh, filled those holes in. Now I'll go ahead and finish sanding. It's really close right now. Okay, so I finished sanding seam. Hopefully you can see that in that edge. A little bit of epoxy on that and it'll be it'll fill any little pinholes in and sand it down. It'll be ready to paint. Very little um, Took me less than an hour to do this, actually. Um, I know you could probably just weld it together and roughly sand it and then take some filler and put across that, but to me it's a challenge to make these parts um, finished as, as good as I could possibly get them. That way I don't have to uh, put any filler in it. I mean, that's the goal, obviously. There's, I'm still going to have to put some skim coat here and there on the car, but for the most part I try to get all my pieces fitting similar to this. So they're, they're just about like they're stamped out, actually. And I think you could do that as well. It just takes a little patience and time, um, you know, practice. And once you do it for a while, like I said, I probably an hour in this, this piece right here, and I think by the time you put filler on it and sand it and prime it and filler. Um, you probably spend more than an hour trying to do it that way. So my point is, you know, maybe try to do it better the first time around and eliminate the filler part of it. So I'm gonna take a DA sander, um, 100 grit sandpaper and just feather this in uh, where the old epoxy or the first epoxy was sand it so it's ready to be re epoxy put it back together and I'm going to make sure it fits in the car. I'll show you in a bit. just 
feathered the edge in a little bit. I'll use 180 on it then before I uh, before I epoxy it. But there's the finished part. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the car.